during lectures, I started to see that the boys got more fidgety. And uh, boys have always been fidgety, but, you know, I started 14 years ago, and for a good eight years, I could lecture for 10 to 15 minutes. And in the middle of the year, I flipped the classroom. So what I do is I uh, film myself at the board teaching a lesson. I put it onto the portal, and uh, the boys have to watch that at night. And then I might have them do three or four practice problems. And then what that does for me and the boys is it's opened up most of the class time for problem solving. So you add and add to each time you see the symbol? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, you got it. My first feeling was that, oh, you know, boys can't focus anymore. But it's not true. They can focus when you set the environment for them. By getting them to work right away, they're very focused. Well, you can just um, walk up to him since we're, everybody's doing the problem set. There are less questions and he's not talking. He's just like waiting for you to ask him questions, so it's a lot better. <laughs> Andre, what do you do? Five, six, seven, five, five, nine. These kids are very adept, and they can adapt to whatever technology we put in front of them. They've grown up taking in information from screens, so it just makes sense. Last year, when you had to, you did the problem set, you'd have to do it at home. But he lets you do it at um, school, so you can so you can work with the people at your table. This generation can focus. We just, you know, like I said, you have to give them work. You have to get them started doing things that they enjoy doing. Show me.